Hi, this is Dawn Olszewski of DoStampingWithDawn.com and today I'm here with another How Did You Do That video. Take a look. This is a peekaboo window card. It's not fun. Some people um, also call it a shutter card. So what a great surprise, surprise, get it, for your recipient. So let's get started. Okay, so here's the basic pieces that you need for this card. Um, two banner framelit pieces, and I'll talk about those in a minute. Um, this is a piece of Daffodil Delight, and it measures three and a quarter by five and a half. And the base is eight and a half by five and a half. This is Melon Mambo, and I have already pre-scored it two and one eighth from either end. All right, so we're going to go ahead and fold this. It's a gate fold. It folds into the center. Alright, and that is ready to go. And then for this piece, what you'll need to do is you're going to take, this is the one and three quarter inch circle punch, and you can see I've already got some dimensionals down here, so we're going to take the other end, we're going to push it all the way in, and center it side to side, and punch that out. And this is, um, you can use this for another project. So we'll set those aside, and then we'll talk about the banner framelits. Now, like I said, you're going to need two of those, and they come in a selection like this. And from the center, one, two, three, it's number four. All right, so I've cut two of them. This is Tempting Turquoise, and we need to do just a little bit of cutting with them. Now the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to take Stampin' Up's trimmer and I'm going to line it up on the half inch mark. So we're going to cut a half inch off of this. And um, I don't know about you, but sometimes I occasionally want accidentally line it up at the three quarter inch. So don't do that. Make sure you're at the half inch. All right. Now the dark blade is our cutting blade. You want to do that for both, both of these. And then you'll come in again another half inch, and you're going to use the lighter color blade, which is the scoring one. All right, so why don't you get that ready for both of them, and um, then we're ready to move on. Okay, so I've done a little bit of stamping with, um, let's see, this is Melon Bombo and Tempting Turquoise, and that came from the set called Amazing Birthday, and this is a fabulous birthday set. Um, I think it's a lot of fun. It's got some great um, images, very kind of um, hip and trendy right now. So let's see. What we're going to do is these two images here are for the front of our card, so I'm not going to worry about those right now, but this one right here, this surprise image, um, I actually colored with um, markers, the Tempting Turquoise and the Melon Mambo. These are from the Brights collection. And um, just some tips on when you're using your markers to direct to stamp is that um, you want to use the brush tip end which is the wider end and you want to more lay it kind of flat against it and rub that across it. That's going to save the tip of your markers. So that's the tip of the day for using markers. And once you ink that up you'll moisten it by breathing on it and then you'll stamp it. So I've already done that. We're going to punch it out with the same punch that we used to get our um, hole in this window there. Now you'll notice it's much larger and that's okay so you just want to center it roughly in there and we're ready to go. So let's put our card together. Okay so the next thing that I want to do is add, finish adding dimensionals here. So we want to keep them all the way to the top here and this will make more sense when we finish our card but for now let's keep them as close to the top as you can I'm not going to peel off the backing I don't want it sticky quite yet all I want to do is rest it right there and then we're going to get our piece that we stamped the surprise on and I added some adhesive and I'm going to place that through the window here there we go. So now I know the positioning of where my window is going to be. That's on there. And we're going to um, add our shutter pieces that was made from the ba um, banner framelits. Now I've already added a piece of sticky strip, but if you've not worked with sticky strip before, what you want to do is you find the end. There it is. 
you peel it back and I like to work directly onto the piece. I don't usually pre-measure these and just snip them right off. I do like to press pretty hard and seal that down because that is so much easier when we go to lift these up. Okay, I'm just going to lift up one end on these for now. Get those going. There we go. Okay, so now here's what we're going to do. Um, these are going to cover over the circle. They both, when it's all said and done, it's going to be like this. But we're going to start with one at a time. So what I like to do is to take this, and you can see I've got about the same amount of um, extra space on either side of that. Gently slide it over until this edge reaches that scored edge. I'll go ahead and finish lifting this off, and we're going to put that over like that. And then it's going to pull away, and, and that's where that scored line was, and I'm going to press it down. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing over here. We already know our alignment because it needs to just line up there. We'll continue to move it on over, make sure it stays lined up, and then finish getting this off. Oops, it moved. That's all right. We'll get it lined up again. That looks good and then press this down. Go ahead and pull it back. Give it a press. Oops, wrong tool <laughs> with the bone folder. And there we go. Okay, so now we are ready to put our window. This is our peekaboo window. We're ready to put this on. Okay, so let's go ahead and place this over it and basically just again we're centering it on the card top to bottom it's the same height as the card. There we go. And now the magic begins. So I'm going to put these and one thing that I do find just to get it started is that I do want to make sure one of these banners is below and one is above that they don't kind of hook into each other. So the card as it opens, you want to see? Isn't that cool? I love that surprise. <laughs> Don't you think your friends are going to love that card? So to finish it off, I use those other pieces here that, um, that we stamped. And this is how it comes together here. So I've layered it with a few other punches. We'll go ahead and add it to our banner. Just like that. And I've just added um, dimensionals on this side of the card because we're only going to want to adhere it on one side. We'll keep the center of the framelit in the center of the card. And then one last touch, a rhinestone, some bling. I'll put it right there. And there you go, again. Cute! Isn't that cute? So I hope you enjoyed this peekaboo window card. And be sure to stop by my blog for more creative ideas and inspiration. Thanks for stopping by.